Yeah, so um, at the last Winter Olympics in February, Matt and I visited a dog meat farm and we were trying to help out the Humane Society in shutting it down and raising awareness for the cause and witnessed a dog being born that day on the farm and that dog is Birdie and she's really, really great. She doesn't have too many issues, but she had had a couple problems, a couple incidents of kind of taking off, being a little bit of a flight risk when she was off leash. And it wasn't that she would like take off and run away. It was more that she would just play this game of cat and mouse and you couldn't get her back on leash, you couldn't get her in the car. And it happened when I had family looking after her once. It happened when I had a friend looking after her and she crossed streets and, and made them worried and made them anxious and, and scared and also put herself at risk. So we realized that we wanted to, to do something about it. And I saw, um, my friend Luke posted about his dog being trained uh, by this guy Nick and it was pretty amazing what he had done so I texted Luke and asked um, basically if it was legitimate <laughs> and he said it was and so I reached out to Nick and asked if he could help and uh, it's been kind of a miracle um, like four days ago she was pulling on her leash if you let her off her leash it was hard to get her back on and Every time a dog approached, she would crouch down and, and get into this um, squat position and would be immo immovable. Like you, we until the dog came close to her, and then she which walked. was actually kind of cute. But like she would do it sometimes when you're like crossing a street. If there was a dog crossing the street, the street, and she would yeah. just lay down in the middle of the street. Um, and yeah, I mean, I I, I I couldn't be happier with the results. I was actually, to be honest, nervous because I had, I think, just like the wrong idea about e-collars and I was so scared to have her on a shock collar and I didn't want to do anything that was going to hurt her that was like inhumane and it's just so not at all what I thought it was it's like it's basically like e-stim which is something that I do on myself um, all the time when I'm training and for physio and stuff and it's really small it's low voltage it doesn't hurt her at all and I kind of just see it in that like we've given her these few days of training and we're gonna keep up the training and in return she just gets a great deal of freedom. She's allowed to be off her leash, she can run around to the park, we don't have to worry about it. She has freedom, we have peace of mind, we know that she's not gonna get hurt, she's not gonna take off, she's not gonna get herself into trouble and uh, I think it just makes us feel a lot better. So it's also, been pretty she, amazing. She listens to us I feel like more than she did before. Yeah. Like she obeys essentially which is kind of great yeah and that's the thing we just took her off for like a couple hours and both practiced using the the e-collar with her and it's not as if we're like buzzing her all the time and like Barely. annoying her like in in the two hours i think i pressed it like three times and it was just for her safety like she started to peel off from me and i would say heal and press it and she'd be right there on my side um which is amazing i mean like i i wanted that life for our dog i wanted to be able to take her on hikes in the mountains and take her to the beach, and take her to the top of Runyon Canyon, and, and have and, her run around and yeah, and, and let, and her, have freedom let her be without free. worrying that she's going to get hurt or run off from us. Yeah, and we basically couldn't do that, and so I think that now she's just going to have this amazing life where she gets to do whatever she wants, and she's going to get to run around and play and have freedom and get to explore, and we'll know that she'll come when we call her because Nick trained her. Um, Whereas before she was basically just going to live her life on a leash and I don't really think that's fair for her. So I think we did her a big favor and did ourselves a big favor and I just, yeah, I couldn't be more happy. Yeah, I agree.
So did she do better off leash than here than she would have last week? <laughs> She did better off leash today than she was on leash a week ago. That's, that's 100% the truth. What do you think, Matt? I, I just think it's it's a gift. I feel like we're really, really lucky right now because she's going to be so amazing to be around. And the cool thing is, as you guys see, now you want to bring her places. You know what I mean? It's like, hey, look, we're going to the Grove. Let's take her, you know?